What's going on everyone? This is Family Jewel 7X and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play my arrangement of Dearly Beloved from Kingdom Hearts on the guitar. Welcome to another video in my 10 video tutorial series based on the videos that you voted for and wanted me to teach you how to play with a video tutorial, backing tracks, and tabs. Uh, you can check the description for uh, the tabs and the backing track. Um, it's going to be all in a zip file for you. Uh, the, uh, the first thing we got to do to uh, get started though is um, we have to tune up. Now the, uh, the tuning of all my guitars in the song uh, are uh, drop C for all the electric guitar uh, for all of the electric guitars. Uh, standard uh, for the bass, but uh, standard a half step down for the classical guitar. Um, this video is going to be primarily based on the classical guitar parts, um, since those are uh, where I put most of the original song into. Um, but I'll still show you some leads and uh, bass and rhythm guitars for my arrangement, uh, so that you guys can play to the backing track. Um, well, the backing track for my arrangement. Um, so uh, let's tune up. Uh, for drop C, we've got C, G, C, F. A and D. So I'll show you that right now. You got that? Okay. So let's bring out the old classical guitar and uh, we'll tune that up and then we'll get rolling. So classical guitar, uh, one half step down, kind of sounds like this. It's pretty much a standard, just tune every uh, every note um, down one half a step. So not quite from E to D, but e to, e, uh, e to E flat, or D sharp. So that's your low string. So a big, uh, big old G chord will sound like... It'll be G flat. Ah, okay. So, uh, the way that I started this, uh, I'm not really going to show you the tab and everything. I'm just going to kind of walk you through it, um, since there's a lot of stuff and I'd rather, uh, explain it to you. Um, remember, uh, the, uh, a lot of this stuff is just complete embellishment. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to just kind of make it my own in a way, uh, since there's a million and a half covers of this on YouTube. Uh, first I will show you how to play the lead main part. Uh, it's the same on electric guitar. So, uh, I mean, you know, you just got to move it up. A certain number of frets, uh, you know, based on the tuning or whatever. So uh, here, let me show you that really quick. And now I'm just going to show you the end, uh, the ending of the arrangement. Um, all I do is I just put the bass notes under it. Um, you know, you just kind of get a kind of deal. It's like a, you know, it's that A flat and then a B flat and then a right down to your E flat, A flat, B flat, E flat. Easy. Uh, so and then that just has it on top. So this is what that looks like. Not too difficult. Um, okay, so now I'm going to show you the intro. Everything after this is pretty much just complete uh, my own interpretation of it. Uh, so if you want, if you just want to learn how to play the song, there you have it. Um, but if you want to play to the backing track and stuff, then keep watching. Okay, so the beginning starts out with this, um, this big old A sus two chord, but because we're a half step down, it's A flat sus two, A flat sus two. Yes, yeah, sus two. Um, so it's pretty much uh, just like an A chord. Uh, without the, uh, without, well, in this case, uh, it's, it's an A flat chord without a C sharp. So, um, instead of a, we're going to take out the uh, ring finger and get a, that's an A sus two chord. Um, it's kind of like, or, uh, an E minor chord with the fingers moved down. Cool chord. It's actually the first chord in, uh, Tristram Village. It's a, and then isn't it like a, Something like that. Okay, I digress. Um, the, yeah, yeah. So it starts with that big A sus2 chord for my arrangement. Uh, then we go up to A sharp, uh, or, well, I think it's B flat, um, for this. Uh, you get a. 
So you got power chord, but you've got the high note on top if you bar the second fret. Like that. Then. And then you come down to this E flat uh, add nine kind of deal. Sort of like that. Uh, it's an add nine, you've got the, uh, it's like the second over the octave of the root, which is the ninth of the, uh, of the chord. Kind of sounds nice. Uh, the next one is like this D, or I mean E flat, I add nine like with a seven on top. So that's pretty much, I think it's like a D, or E flat, sorry, E, uh, e flat seven add nine. Sorry, these are weird chords. Um, well, for me, I don't really deal with chords like this very much. Um, so you've got kind of like that, kind of cool. Uh, and that resolves back to the to the uh, the E flat add nine again by hitting that B flat open. So here are all those chords together. A sus two, B flat. E flat add nine, then E flat add nine with seven. You could also, if you want, um, actually it would probably be smarter, a little bit more difficult though, um, is go from, you know, what's that B flat? Um, uh, when you go to the, the E flat add nine to actually go straight to this fingering where you leave the pinky out of it. So you can just put your pinky down on the seven. That you could if you want. Uh, it's a little bit harder to go from than like yeah, like that. Kind of cool though. Um, so that's pretty much the intro intro. Now when it starts picking up, um, you've got a little bit a uh, little bit more going on. You've got um, you know you start with an A chord. Do it with uh, without the index finger because you're gonna want that uh, for the first fret on uh, the third string so that you get. Then just lift up your ring finger to get that one. So that's an A chord. Then you lift up uh, to open up this one. Then just move everything up to the fourth position. So one more time. That's the first one. Next one, you kind of bar the second fret while putting this stuff up. Leave your pinky uh, alone because you're gonna need it. Kind of like that. Now we've got a little bit of a run going here. We got a. I like to just rest stroke with my thumb all the way down that, and then land right here. Try to move so you get your ring finger there instead. Otherwise, you're gonna have to substitute some fingers. But then get like that because then you're gonna want your index finger to hit two. Right here. So then flip over. You got index finger, middle finger here. Like that. Then move up to here. I usually use the pinky. Then come back here. You could go. Oh, sorry. Right there. Uh, but you're gonna want to be in this position anyway. So you go. And then move down to five and then set up your chord here. And then drop your uh, your middle finger and ring finger down to hit that chord, so. And then finish out the phrase like that. And that's all it really is. Um, then you've got the main line on top. So the, uh, the chords that go under, the arpeggiated chords that go under the lead part uh, kind of look like this. You start with your A flat deal, you get Right, and then you move up to this. Um, well, actually, no, no, no. You go uh, to B flat first, so you get the. Yeah, so you get the. Now you go up to a C add nine. Oh, sorry. Or actually, no, 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 no. In the tab, I'd go uh, like this. So uh, you leave this one open. So. Yeah, that's right. Gives it that minor taste. Then back down to A flat. Oops. Probably go to, yeah, something like that. 
and then it kind of finishes off like that. Not too difficult. Um, but that's all of the classical guitar stuff uh, in uh, my arrangement of Dearly Beloved. So now I'm going to show you the lead guitar stuff. Um, just, uh, I think I'm going to show you the solo, the rhythm guitar, and the bass for the solo section. Uh, and then there's... Um, then there's a harmony in the uh, solo that happens after the solo that goes over the lead guitar going. But I mean, as I said, if I'm going too fast, just check out the tabs. Um, I might answer your questions, but if you have any questions, uh, please check the, uh, uh, please leave me a comment. I'm, I'm sorry, please leave a message or a comment. Uh, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. <laughs> And that's about it, everybody. There's not a whole lot much else to, to the song. You'll see in the tabs that everything's pretty straightforward. Uh, those are the only parts that are like completely out of the, like just out of the anywhere near ordinary. Um, but of course, if you guys have any questions about the things that I didn't show or even the stuff that I did show that you'd like more clarity, definitely let me know in the comments or in a message and I'll try to get back to you. Um, other than that, let me know how you think these tutorials are going. Um, and uh, I will see you guys next week with another tutorial. See you guys next time.